So, those of you who have followed my modelling for a while may know that uh, the first um, model locomotive I designed myself um, was this tiny, tiny little Hudson Hunslet uh, diesel loco in 4mm scale for 9mm tracks, so 009. Um, yeah, it's really, really tiny. Um, it's got a printed 3D brass chassis, um, 3D printed body with overlays from etched parts um, and it's really really small it's only when you kind of see it in somebody's hands that you realize how um, how small it was and um, it was great fun to build great fun to turn into a kit um, full details on how it was built um, are in the description below along with links to videos for for building it um, but recently I've had a couple of people ask me whether it'd be possible to scale this up to a, a slightly bigger bigger scale um, and they didn't just want a small increase in scale. Now, they were thinking 16 millimetres to the foot instead of 4 millimetres to the foot. So, essentially four times bigger. So, um, it's kind of the opposite end of the scale to where I, I often work. So, um, I've had a play. Um, I haven't got very far yet. I've just been kind of seeing what, what I can and can't achieve. So, I thought in this first video uh, for, this, for this new project, um, I'd show kind of where we are and the kind of... Um, from the ti ridiculously tiny um, to, as you will see, they're ridiculously large. So the first thing I tried to do was just to print the, the kind of foot plate downwards so that the black uh, the black flat section on this loco downwards. Um, unfortunately, when I scale this up to 16 millimeter, it doesn't quite fit in my, uh, my free 3D printer. Um, it will fit if I cut the buffer beams off um, and then kind of print those separately and stick them on. Uh, and because of course I've got the 3D CAD for this, that's that's quite easy to do. So I, I that's exactly what I did. I printed the foot plate and the buffer beam separately and then stuck them together and I got this. <laughs> um, which as you can see is ridiculously huge in comparison to the, the tiny one. Um, so obviously 16mm scale versus 4mm scale, it's four times longer, four times wider, four times taller. Um, but it is ridiculously big. Uh, but as you can see, this seems to have um, have worked reasonably reasonably well. Um, I didn't print the axle boxes on this one. Um, issues to do with how I was going to support the support the print. So I think I'm going to do those as, as separate details um, and kind of stick them on uh, later. Uh, we'll see how that we'll see how that goes in a, in another video. Um, I also printed uh, the radiator. Um, so in the 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 O9 version. This is a this is part of the body print, um, and the grill and the the name badge are etched etched parts, uh, and I just took the artwork from the etch uh, and turned it into a print into the part of the print for this. Uh, as you can see, I wasn't particularly successful. The name badge isn't too bad, uh, but the grill has just kind of collapsed and warped. Uh, but it does give an idea for kind of um, size and how this might look. So if I kind of um, roughly assemble this, if I turn it the right way around. Um, you get a rough idea of what we're looking at. It's a bit difficult to see in the in the video, but it's you know it's it's huge. Um, we're talking a quite big uh, look in comparison to the O9 one, although of course it's 16 millimeters, so it's it's tiny in comparison to um, other kind of full size 16 millimeter scale logos. Um, so obviously there's lots to do on on this itself. Um, there's there's no cutout for the footwell uh, that's visible on the O9 version where he, the driver sticks his feet. Um, obviously the rest of the bodywork. Um, and I also need a, um, a, a, a solution for drive. I need, I need to work out how I'm going to power this. Um, so I've had a quick go at that. Um, <clears throat> and what I've got so far is this. Um, you can see this is, this is version 2. I actually I messed up version 1 by not getting the... by, by mismeasuring um, the distance from the motor to the axle um, so it wouldn't mesh. Um, this one I've also slightly messed up because I managed to set the width of the supports for the axles to um, to the back to the, the gauge to 32 millimeters instead of to the kind of 28 millimeter back to back so it won't actually fit on the track uh, but I can just briefly show that it will actually uh, run um, so if I just connecting this with a single um, single battery just to show that it, it will work um, it's a bit noisy but um, that's probably just the I haven't worn it in yet so you can see um, that's that's running nicely um, so I don't see any problems there 
um, this test print um, I haven't fitted any bearings in the in here for the for the axle to run in it's just the uh, printed holes um, that's obviously not going to last very long they'll, they'll wear out I think the, the resin will resin print will wear so in the real in the next version or a later version at some point those holes will be enlarged to take a bearing I don't know whether that'll be a plastic or a, or a brass bearing um, but for testing purposes this 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 is enough uh, and you can see the motor just kind of slots into a <clears throat> to a hole um, that has at the bottom uh, a couple of kind of flat pieces um, that stop it dropping too far through and it's a nice it's a nice push fit it could do with being a little tighter just so it doesn't fall out but I, I made the hole the same size as the the motor and um, kind of the accuracies of the print I mean it's a, it's a nice sliding fit but it could do with being um, just that ever so slightly tighter um, but yeah that's that's where we are so far so I need to um, do a bit more work on exactly how I'm going to mount this into the body I'd like it so that this is kind of all removable um, like it is in the, the, the 009 model so that you can deal with kind of fitting the wheels the gears all the electronics and then literally just drop the the body on the top so I'm going to need to obviously somehow kind of cut out in here um, for that to happen um, probably some holes for retaining screws etc um, but yeah it's um, it's showing promise as I say I don't know quite how how quickly I'll get on with this and how far I'll, it'll it'll go but um, yeah it's it, kind of the, the limits of what I can make size wise on the, the, the 3d printer I've got it's an original series any cubic photon um, but I think yeah I'm, I'm gonna aim for something that's simple to print so um, but that makes the best use of the the kind of orientations um, of the printer so there's lots of separate parts that give the best the best quality um, so that might make more parts than you necessarily expect but should make assembly um, easy and, and the, the best quality uh, and we'll see how we go um, for now this is just this is just for me I, I fancied one as well as being asked about it um, if it's if it works and is easy enough um, to build then I might think about offering kind of scratch head kits of the the printed parts we'll, we'll have to we'll have to see how that goes uh, but yeah this is kind of the first first in a sequence and hopefully um, we'll get to the point where I can turn this into a kind of full size version of, of this um, and uh, yeah we'll, we'll just see how it goes <laughs> 